Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Rob Johnson. Eric is off tonight. Chicago police officers sabotaging dash cams. Tonight, the interim superintendent is talking about the crackdown to stop officers from tampering with that technology. CBS 2's Audrina Vegas is live at police headquarters with more. Audrina? Rob, we're told this crackdown is working. Interim Superintendent John Escalante says that he's telling officers if they do their job correctly, then dash cam video could only help them, not hurt them. When Laquan McDonald was shot and killed by a Chicago police officer, five squad cars were on scene. Only two were recording. None of them had sound. If the dash cams were working properly and not tampered with. Theoretically, you would have heard any verbal directions that were being given. But we didn't hear anything. Chicago Police Interim Superintendent John Escalante says that's one example of a much bigger problem. First, the dash cam technology dates back to 2007. Because of technical issues, Escalante says 12% of the cameras are not working on any given day. Other times it's human error and it's accidental, legitimate accidental human error, but there are other times it's deliberate, people deliberately trying to circumvent the system. That's when officers don't activate the system when they should. Escalante disciplined 22 officers in a one-month period after the dash cam fallout in the shooting death of Laquan McDonald. Officers were cited for audio issues, not uploading video at the end of a shift, and not inspecting cameras to make sure they worked. When I go to the roll calls, I do get a little feedback where there is some concern, you know, that um, even when doing their job properly, it may not per be perceived that way. And there is some concern that officers don't want to be the next uh, viral video. Since Escalante's crackdown, he's seen an 80% increase in the amount of officers uploading properly on a daily basis. The next step for the department, rolling out body cameras. Seven districts will be part of a pilot program set for early spring. It'll also show that the vast majority of the men and women of the Chicago Police Department do the job correctly. I think that's what the cameras are going to show. Superintendent Escalante also talked to us about tasers. He says the department will, will roll out double the amount of tasers it has now by June 1st. Live at police headquarters, Audrina Vegas, CBS 2 News. Rob. Okay, Audrina, thank you.